Welcome to our section on advanced part development. The lessons in this section of the SOLIDWORKS course are based upon the knowledge we've acquired in previous sections of the course. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the Instant 3D tool. Let's begin by activating it over here. Now while it's active, I simply can select a face. Notice this green arrow here. I'm able to grab and drag it up and down to make adjustments. On the right side, I see the ruler. If I drag on top of the ruler, I'll be able to snap to its values. And if I mouse further to the right, I'll snap to bigger increments. When I'm satisfied with my new values, I simply release the mouse. We also see dimensions here. I can grab and drag the blue handles. Once again, here's a ruler that we can use to monitor the dimension value. It's the same here. We can increase the height of the extrude. To reposition the entire feature, I need to grab this green or red arrow. And when I do, watch what happens. SOLIDWORKS gives me a warning, lets me know that there's external constraints in the features being moved. Do we want to delete them or keep them by recalculating or dangling? If we didn't dimension the position of this extrude, we wouldn't have this message. I'm going to click Delete. Now let's grab this arrow, and I can freely move the extrude now. Let's take a look at my hole here. It's got a chamfer. Let's select the hole. Here we can change the depth of the hole by dragging up and down. Hole position as well. And the hole diameter. Now once again, if I try to change the hole position using the green arrow, I get the same message. Let's opt to delete the external constraints. And now we can freely move the hole. Let's select the chamfer now. As you see, we've got an angle and distance chamfer. Here we can change the chamfer angle, as well as the chamfer distance. Lastly here, I've got fillet one, a feature that controls both of these fillets here. I'm going to select this fillet. Once again, grab and drag the blue handle. Notice that both fillets change. Now if I select this fillet, the handle is still here. I need to change the fillet radius at this point. When we're done, let's switch the Instant 3D tool off by clicking on it again. And this concludes our lesson about using the Instant 3D tool.